Ms. Baldwin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for your leadership and uh, bringing us to this moment. Um, your efforts and dedication, along with that of Mr. Markey and our very uh, qualified uh, committee staff, is um, uh, extraordinary. Um, we are really at an exceptional moment in history, and we have an opportunity before us to address climate change in a real and meaningful way. The bill we have before us sets us on a path to a clean energy era, one that invests in renewable energy, creates jobs, contains costs, revitalizes America, and allows us to be responsible stewards of our environment. As we have learned through the exhaustive work of the IPCC and through reading the Stern Report, our greenhouse gas emissions have put our global environment, social structure, and national security at peril. And if we fail to act, the impact will reverberate during the later decades of this new century. The volatility of our climate, including floods and droughts, severe weather and temperature extremes, will result in the loss of human life, increased susceptibility to disease, the extinction of species of animals and plants, destruction of ecosystem, ecosystems, and increased social conflict. Among the political challenges we face is that our greatest obligation in tackling the threat of global climate change isn't to each other and our current constituents. Our greatest obligation is to generations of Americans and people all around the world who haven't even been born yet, the ones who will inhabit this planet long after we're gone. What if they could speak to us about the future that we left them? What would our great-great-grandchildren say to us about what we did once we knew that our climate was changing and that we were at least in part to blame? This week will lead us to an answer to that question. What did we do once we knew? I hope that that answer will be that we realized the consequences of our inaction and we came together and acted on behalf of both those who are here today and those who will inherit this earth in generations to come. This bill brings exactly what we need in terms of leadership and commitment as we look towards Copenhagen and beyond. It recognizes our national security, our planet's sustainability, and our children's future hang in that balance. And we recognize that the world is watching our every step. I want to thank the chairman for including my bill, the Greenhouse Gas Registry Act, as a part of this larger bill, as well as recognizing uh, the transportation issues uh, involved in CCS technology. Um, I look forward to working with all of the members of this committee uh, to assure that this bill becomes law and these policies are implemented. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you very much, Ms. Baldwin. 